<gasps> no! How did he get in here? No! Get out! Get out! Oh my gosh! How did he get in my bunny hole? There is a hole in my bunny hole. I don't remember making that hole, but uh, it would be a really good idea if I were to close that back up. We don't... We don't want any other, you know, mishaps happening. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to go and look for some sheep so that I could shear some wool. Uh, I made some shears. And yeah, so let's go ahead and find some sheep because I have an idea for the outside of my bunny hole and I don't want to give out... I don't want to give out any hints yet as to what it's going to be, but I have a really cute idea that I think you all will like. But, I am going to need some wool first. Mm. So, oh, here's some sheep. So let's shear this one, boop, and this one, boop. <laughs> okay, I found a skeleton. I'm gonna try and sneak attack him. Oh, oh, and he's seen me. Oh, oh, okay. All right, abort mission, abort mission. I don't, I don't need the bone meal that bad. Okay, I'm just going to eat some of my carrots that I have so that I could have full hunger and regen from the brutal attack that I clearly did not think all the way through. <laughs> and we are taking a short intermission break as I collect all these flowers because they're cute and I wanna put them all around my house when it's done. <laughs> and I wanna go back and try and kill that skeleton again. Hopefully he'll drop some bones. And attack, ha And now that was a sneak attack. The other one, I don't know what that was. It was just, it was just a hot mess. Okay, so I am going to make some hardened clay, but I'm going to stain it with pink because it's gonna look so cute. Ah, I love my texture pack. See the little, it's like checkers. I don't know. I think it would look really cute on the outside of my house. So let's go and put that on. Okay, I wanna finish the outside of my house. It's probably not a good idea to do this at night because you guys probably can't see that well and there's mobs around, but I'm kind of excited and I wanna get this done as quick as possible. So let's go ahead and uh, redo this a little. So I'm gonna place the wood right around here and I wanna place the clay on the inside. So let me see, let me get some more oak wood planks because I need some more and let's add these here and what I'm gonna do is get the hardened clay and place it around uh, okay I might have to fill it in right there too so there we go and then let's go ahead and place the oak wood planks on top uh, just to fill it out over the hardened clay just so it doesn't look kind of weird and let's place one there and there. Yay, I'm so excited. It's coming out. It's gonna be so cute when it's done. Now, all we need is the last of the windows. So, oops, I kind of put that on the wrong way. So let's take that down and let's put it back up the right way. And let's add another staircase there and then on the other side and let's close up this hole with some dirt. And we're almost done. Okay, now let's add some of these trapdoors as a decoration for the windows to make them look a little cuter. And of course, we can't forget flowers. And I think the outside of my house needs a really cute little white picket fence because I think no house is complete without a cute little white picket fence. Okay, so I think it's coming out so cute and I love how the little white picket fence looks in the front. All that we need to do is add some flowers. So let's add some cute little daisies on the outside. And I kind of want to bring in the gate a little bit, but I don't know how that would look. Oh wait, that closes it off. And it doesn't have a gate that opens. They should really add that for uh, the furniture mod. A gate that opens and closes, it goes with the white picket fence. But yeah, I think it's coming up so cute so far. Okay, now for my favorite part. I hope this is going to come out how I envisioned it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't look weird and you guys will understand where I'm kind of going with this. So let's build up and let's put one under and then one on top of that. Uh, how am I gonna get down here without killing myself? Uh, oh, oh! Oh, it took some damage. Okay, that wasn't smart of me to do. So let's bring this down. 
And then let's fill in the center with some pink uh, hardened clay. So uh, let's put that here. Oh my gosh, okay. Now let's make the second one. So if you guys haven't already figured it out, I'm trying to make ears on my little rabbit hole. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this uh, second rabbit ear. I kind of want it to flop over to the side, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. So I feel like it's kind of coming out weird, but it's really hard <laughs> to build in survival without falling and dying and not being able to go into creative to build things in high places. <laughs> so I'm trying to be as careful as possible so that I don't fall and yeah. So let's place this block here and oh, oh, that could have been bad. That could have been so bad. Okay, so we're almost done with the second ear. So let's go ahead and place the pink hardened clay on the inside and let's Put that in here, and oops, uh, I placed that in the wrong area, but that's okay. We can take it off, and let's go ahead and clean up uh, all the blocks that I was using to step on to uh, build off of, and I think we're pretty much done with the outside of the house. I'll probably go ahead and add some more things eventually, but so far, I think this is how I want it to look. So this is how the outside of my little bunny hole house looks and I think it looks so cute. I love the ears, but let me know what you guys think about the ears. Should I keep them or should I get rid of them? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if there's any other suggestions you guys want to give me to decorate my house, leave those in the comment section below as well. But other than that, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode of the bunny challenge. Bye.